But now, you, how often do you, like, you're getting ready to go on tour, right? Mm -hmm. So how often, how, how much do you dance every day? Um, hours. Sometimes to like 10 o'clock at night, sometimes to like 6, yeah. Really? All the time. Every day? Mm -hmm. Every day. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, That's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. So, but any, then you go out dancing too? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. I need to, a little bit more. Now, how do you maintain your energy? Because I'm trying to figure out, I, I had the whole Grammy weekend, and I'm exhausted. I can't, I don't know how you do it. I mean, well, you're 22, but other than that, <laughs> how do you do it? But do, you, do you have downtime that you just chill? Yeah, sometimes, but I get a little antsy. I love, I love dancing. Yeah. I love what I do, so, I, yeah. you know. But um, I definitely make time for, like, massages and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. That's what you do to, to completely yeah. unwind? Yeah. Massages. And movies, too. And movies? Mm -hmm. what, do you, what have you seen lately? Um, I saw a movie last night. It's an old movie um, with Goldie Hawn. It's called um, There's a Girl in My Soup. I like watching mm -hmm. old movies, like fun stuff like that. So. I, when, when was that, There's a Girl in My Soup? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's very old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like really old movies yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Well, I could see where you do like a, a remake of a Goldie Hawn movie like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should do that. Maybe so. All right. Um, now, do you think that uh, when, you, when you're working as hard as you are, because I watched that Driven, that VH1 special that they did mm -hmm. on you, and it's amazing to see what you've done in this amount of time. You started when you were eight, mm -hmm. right? And what you've accomplished. Mm -hmm. And for you to make it at all is, you know, the odds are always against mm -hmm. you in this business, but for you to make it to, to where you are now, what's the hardest thing? What's, what's the biggest surprise to you that you thought, I, I wanted fame, but I had no idea it was going to be like this? Um... Honestly, the whole thing, nobody can tell you what, you know, it's like once, you know, I mean, you can't be prepared in any way. It's just, you know, it's, there's some wonderful things and there's, you know, some kind of downfalls with, you know, with, with everything. But I think right now I'm just, you know, at a point where I just want to keep, you know, the energy, creative energy going and keep, you know, pushing myself and challenging myself. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's like a part of the whole process mm -hmm. right now. Is it hard sometimes? I would think it's hard to have fun because you've got everybody watching every single move you, you make, mm -hmm. and no one can understand, you know, if you, if you put it on your own level, like if you're at work and all of a sudden everybody in your office is talking about you, what you times that times a million of what's going on with you. You just, it, it's, it's got to be just so much pressure to do everything right. Um, well, you do, but there's some times where, you know, you have to just let loose. I mean, I try not to pay too much attention to, mm -hmm. like, tabloids and stuff like that of what they say about you and everything, and, um, just kind of, I don't know, go home and hang out with your girlfriends mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. do stuff like that. But I see what you're saying. Yeah, it can yeah. get a little grueling sometimes. Yeah. Yeah.